It's Monday morning, so good morning. I've got my Monday morning face and my Monday morning hair because on a Monday it's swimming day, isn't it? Mine. Your swimming day. But not she's mine. not been too not well this weekend. Is. Have you? Not, not been too well. No, Benjamin's at school. All of us nutty cold. I'm just feeling a bit under the weather. So I'm going to see how she gets on this morning. And then we'll see whether or not to go swimming or not, won't we? To be honest, I'm not feeling great. She was up at 7 o'clock yesterday morning, which I could cope with, but then Benjamin was up at 7 o'clock this morning, which I can't cope with because that's two really early morning starts on the bounce. And um, a little bit Mommy, he's ready. Just put Holly's porridge in the microwave and it's beeping at me to say it's ready. So we'll get some breakfast down here. And like I say, we'll see how she gets on this morning make a decision it's to whether or not to go swimming. Right in the porridge. Right, let me just check it's not too hot. Perfect. Just like Goldilocks said. Perfect. So I'll catch you later. So we've gone from one poor princess to another. We've just come to the farm. Hi. Hi, I've not got any treats. We've just come to the farm to see Georgie Porgie. She's not, she's not doing too bad to be fair to her. There's some heat in her hooves, not too much, they're just slightly warm and only in two of them. Um, she's not overweight. Horses get a condition called laminitis when they have too much grass and they're overweight. She's not too bad. She could do with being a bit fitter, I will take that. But I'm just, as a precaution, I'm just going to keep her in today. I'll put her on a restricted turn out tomorrow and then just keep an eye on her from there. That spring grass is coming through. She's saying hello. She's saying hello. <laughs> You're eating my daughter. That spring grass is coming through, so I just have to be a little bit careful because it just goes straight to her feet and can give a laryngitis if I'm not careful, which is a painful condition for horses. But I think I've caught it. Stop shoving your bottom in my face. We've caught it in time for now, so it's just a case of monitoring it. But she's fine, she's just, um, she wants to be out, she's going for a little bit of a walk, but she wants to be out in the field. <laughs> she, keeps, she won't hurt you, honey. I promise you, she will not hurt you. She's a, she's a big softie, she's like a big Labrador. Come on then. And we are going to go swimming. She's perked up and she desperately wants to go. So, you're going to knock that rug on the floor, aren't you? I thought so. So we just thought we'd come and check on her. It's okay. It's okay, I've got you, so you won't hurt you. Oh, she's living a scratch. She's living a scratch. So, we're going to go swimming. And then, um, I think she might have a little sleep. She's shattered. So, maybe swimming wasn't the best idea. I should have trusted my inner judgement. But she really wanted to go. She's just fallen asleep in my arms, which she's not done since she was a tiny baby. And I've had to put her down, so I've had to go and get ready to go and get Benjamin. And she's just passed out now. to wake her. We've got a stay in play session at Benjamin's school which is a session where we get to go as parents and um, go to the school and play with them essentially and I've promised him I'm gonna go and I feel really bad now because I'm torn between not letting him down but also giving her the sleep and rest that she needs. It's a dilemma of having more than one child. I think what I'm gonna do is wake her the session's only an hour and then he's got his Easter disco until five o'clock so she can probably have a sleep between coming back home and his disco finishing and having to go and pick him up again. So I have just been to stay and play at Benjamin's school, which probably was the right idea for Benjamin. He was absolutely made up to see us. And we just had a kick around with a football, played on the bikes, played on the playground. So that was good. Normally Holly would have joined in, but she was feeling too tired, exhausted, stroke ill, stroke not up for it, stroke really didn't want to be there quite frankly. So we only stayed half an hour, which was long enough because ben, Benjamin was happy we were there. So he's now getting ready for his Easter disco, so I don't need to pick him up till five o'clock, which means I can get Holly home and I've put her down for a sleep. So fingers crossed it was the right decision to do. He got to see me, so he's happy and she's getting her sleep, so hopefully she'll be happy. Um, yeah, 
trying to please the two of them. <laughs> the woes of a mother. I've just picked Benjamin up from his Easter disco. Give me that time, Benjamin. What did you do? I got the chocolate. And I got some cake. I got cake. And you said there was a minion there, didn't you? That you played with. I just took it out. And what have you got on your nose? You got parried on the end of your nose. Where? <laughs> right on the very tip. There. There. You got it. Oh. <laughs> he went to I'll wipe it off. Here we go. Got it. So we're having a little bit of a random tea, aren't we? Uh. Benjamin's had hot dogs at the disco and Holly's not feeling very well. So Holly asked for porridge. Benjamin then wanted some porridge and he's also having some dairy dunkers and therefore Alex is working late so I thought well I'm not making tea for just for me so I'm also no, having cereal. Take a well. Pardon? Take a well. Yeah. Take a You want dairy dunker as well? What? Get your dairy dunker. So yeah, a bit of a, dairy dairy dunker. a breakfast tea. That's okay. what you just had. There's a magic word if you want me to get a dairy dunker right now. That's more like it. Good girl. I'm going to go and get you one. So, yeah, that's been our day today, really. And just waiting for Alex to come home, then it'll be back to having bedtime for these guys. And then I'm hitting the sack early tonight because I'm absolutely shot at going to an early morning this morning from you and an early morning yesterday morning from you. Welcome to the bathroom. <laughs> so, catch you later. Bye, guys.